But I love this place and let me take you in and show you why. The old Everglades is uh, putting it on for us weather-wise. You can't walk around with that in your toe. No. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, look at that. What an amazing. That is a cracker. <laughs> Give it a little measure there, Brett. 41. That's the biggest bass we've caught in the glades ever. G'day guys, and welcome back to another episode of Trippin'. In this episode, I'm up in the Noosa Everglades with my good mate, Brendan the Bass Man. Hey, mate. <laughs> we've got him in his natural element up here targeting some Australian bass. We've had an absolutely action-packed day. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get on with the episode. Let's go. Now the only thing we need right now to finish off our swim is a cold beer. You yeah. reckon? Yeah boy, let's do that. What's happening there guys? We are currently just heading up to our campsite here on the Noosa River. Um, we're just having a little troll along. The fishing's a bit slow in the middle of the day here, so it's uh, filling our time. speto has got a Cheers. light beverage. Cheers. Don't forget to turn the electric off. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful bass, bro. Well done. Get him off and go get yours. We'll let him go and then go get that. Chuck him on the measure. Talking to him. What's the lie detector say? He goes 36. That was so good that we caught that. Yes! That's got his first one. A little bubba. Beautiful little bass bar. Got him on the uh, hater. Baby bass. Oh, yeah. What a little bubba bar. What a little bubba bar. Back in? Yeah. <laughs> two in, what, two minutes? I'm liking it. I think Brett's about to break his own record here. <laughs> yeah, boy! Oh, a little guy. What's the colour on Yeah, well. We're going to terrorise some more cicadas. You can't walk around with that in your toe. No, it's, it had to be my turn, bro. There's no easy... I mean, I've got antiseptics and shit once it comes out, it's not going to get infected. I've got band-aids to stop the bleeding. Well, let's get some uh, Nurofen and turn it on too. It's not that firing, but it's just going to hurt. You would grab it and just and pull it this way and then pull up. Straight on with the dead eye antiseptic, straight on with the band-aid. Give me something more. <laughs> There's no way out. There's no way for it, man. I'm so sorry, but I can't see any other solution. The 
sooner that it's done, the sooner you can start recovering. Woo! Man, that was so brave. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. I just like, I gotta do it. I'm gonna do it for you, man. I can do this. I like, Make I. Good videos. <laughs> it's great content. Everyone loves a hook in the toe. Uh, okay, well done, bro. Put that on your Right. It's crazy. The crazy things that happen when you're on camp. Uh, here's our here's our old campground. It's campsite four. Should we oh. go and should we go and have a quick look and show people? Yeah. yeah, pull in. Let's do that. How does it feel having just ripped a uh, hook out of your toe, mate? Okay. The only thing you've caught is yourself. <laughs> yeah. Our fishing's going well. <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Uh, righto, so we're coming into campsite 4, this is where we prefer to stay, but somebody had it booked so we're pushing on to campsite 5 tonight. But I love this place and let me take you in and show you why. We've got this awesome little just white sand beach and you just whoop, come up here, you have your own little private beach overlooking the river with your lovely little bit of water down there and then where you're supposed to camp is up through this little corridor and here you are there's there's no one to bother you it's just an awesome place to come so this could have been us but apparently it's booked but there's no one here so i don't know if five sucks maybe we'll come back here anyway that's campsite four okay we have just gone past campsite four we're now looking for our campsite campsite five should be around the corner somewhere very very soon surely it's not far away i'm starting to feel a bit worried now i'm pretty sure see just through there where you can see there's two trees i think it's just in behind that i'm pretty all right brendan reckons it's within sight so fingers crossed we well, can see it and it looks lovely and shady home sweet home for the night so we coming up on campsite five as soon as we get there i'm gonna go for a run up and we'll have a look together yeah number five let us go and have a look what are we working with go look for me this way we've got like a little platform up here where we can climb through the water and then Oh, big goanna. That's awesome. I wonder if you'll let us say hello. Up you go. I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. I'll probably try to stop you from eating my food tonight, but... Right. Well, it does say no fires here and people obviously can't listen, but... That was here when we got here and we'll clean it up. Oh, look, we're not the only ones. There's more fire pits there. Anyway, um, yeah, this is where we're setting up, I reckon, I reckon, mate. It's quite uh, sunny. We probably could squeeze ourselves in there. It's definitely a little bit more romantic. I like this spot a lot more. Yeah. Two little tents just go in there. I knelt to pray today, but no one was listening anymore. Do I need to fade away or stay here laying down on the floor? I want to know if you beat the shoulder that I need. I want to go to take me to Neverland. Yeah. Up 
here we have the abode of the bass man. What did you tally up on? Four fish today? Four to five. You got me one. Oh, missed probably about the same amount. And then we have Casa de Sveto. I've had lots of things drop on me over the, the day. And a couple of chairs. Not bad for little light things. Yeah. I think we'll be impressed. <sighs> Just a casual lobster. Yeah, out in the globe. A little bit of butter and garlic in that pan. Holes in there like that. That's bubbly. Come have a look at this. Garlic, butter, and prawns. <laughs> Cheers for our red wine tube. Oh, and off to bed. <laughs> Good night. See you in the morning. Good night. No, buddy. Oh, well, good morning. Um, we decided that we were going to get up half an hour before first light today and get camp packed down. We need to get on the water and heading back down to the lake nice and early because the wind's supposed to get up and crossing that lake with the wind up is really dangerous. So it's an early start for us. Yes! Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> in them overhanging reeds, but right in. Pumped it too. <laughs> yeah, what's your language? Oh, excuse my language. Oh, no. Go, oh, Brett. Cicada. Ah, beautiful little bass. If you want to look at the size of that little gullet of yours. Oh, that's what you're chewing them down with. Beautiful little fish. Got him. Got that on camera? 10 out of 10 for exit. I believe that one's on camera, but someone's dropping F-bombs in the background. I just pulled out a 38 and the very next cast. This fella. I don't know. I think he's gonna go 40. Can you grab the camera, Brandon? Thirty-nine and a half. <laughs> oh, look at that! 
Oh, what, a, fish. what an amazing Brett's cracked the, water bass. Brett's cracked the code this weekend. Send them back. This is just gonna have water drops on it. The old Everglades is uh, putting it on for us weather-wise. We can feel that wind starting to pick up as well, so don't have too much longer here by the looks of it, but it has been pretty bloody good. Hey. Brett just filmed that rain scene and um, two seconds later he's actually hooked a fairly... Holy dooey! That is a big bass. That is a big bass. Chew, yes. boy! <laughs> Look at that. That's a cracker. That is probably wow. the biggest bass we've caught up here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Brett! Choo! <laughs> I think Brett's uh, nearly going to take the new Bassman title. Holy! You should pull us out of the trees, brother. That's insane! <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit here while we sort it. <sighs> that. That made it. That's made the trip. You got your thumbnail now. That is a monster! Well, they do exist! In the rain. See what I said? Perfect structure bet. That's got to go 40 okay, seconds, doesn't it? Okay. Just let me get this off before you pick it. Put that over the edge. <laughs> we're very wary of the hooks now. Oh. Hold on to that one. Put your hand on it. Yeah, that's it. That is a cracking bass yes. for off here. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me give the... Uh... You'd be happy with that in there. That is a cracker. <laughs> give it a little measure there, Brett. I'll move this for you. Hold on to him. 41. That's the biggest bass we've caught in the glades ever. Alright, grab out the camera bar. Alright, should we get him back in? Oh, he'd be a good feed. <laughs> <laughs> Where you got breakfast? Let's get this release. Oh. Yes! <laughs> it is, man. Yep. Just had it. Just had some. Yep. Oh. I knew there'd be one in there. Felt that line go taut and he must have spat it before the hooks got him. Now duck. Alright, now you try the other side of the tree because I want to see this is trim. The tree the side that you just tried? Yep. Someone's gonna be popping down to uh, the bait shop for a cicada after this, aren't they? Dare say the next trip you come up here you will have one. I might even try a bigger one. Yeah. Oh, I love that thing, eh? Well, that does answer your question, doesn't it? It does. It's just, it is what they are feeding on. Like, I can throw 10 other lures in there and touch it, you throw that in there, mate. Okay, thought I'd give you a little bit of a talk about what's been really working for us catching these bass up here. So this is the duo cicada and it's been by far the most successful lure for us. We've just been throwing it into the reedy edges and into the structure and we just let it sit there for about 10 seconds. But we give it a little bit of movement and let it send off its vibrations through the water for 3 to 5 seconds and then let it sit again and then repeat. The beauty of this lure is it gets to sit in the zone for longer because you're not ripping it out. 
and uh, what can I say? It's definitely done the goods for us this trip. It's been really good. What are you doing, Brett? Uh, freshen up. This is how you have shit in the morning. <coughs> What's the water like? Oh, beautiful. The water actually here, because of the hot day yesterday, has been like a bar. We were in there at 7 o'clock last night, like sauna. Mini Presso, campus best friend. Look at these little mini coffee maker there. In the cup. Let me just warm it off while I make mine. It's uh, not looking real pretty. We're at Canabo Info Center now, and we're gonna make our run back across the lake and hopefully get home safely. Thank you so much for watching the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit that likes up button and subscribe if you'd like to see more episodes.